Hello everyone, Loco Force here, and welcome to a video where I'm going to be covering one of society's most asked questions, and that is, how do you start in Engage? Well, I think I might have the answer, and I think that is this, which is a Kato N-Scale starter set. So let's get right into it. Kato starter sets come in very bright, colourful boxes, uh, covered in Japanese, which obviously might not be ideal for some British people. Uh, but they're very good looking boxes, uh, you can see the engines, uh, sorry the units even, uh, in the front there for a little see-through panel which is very nice. And on the back of the box you can see that there are plenty of other additional Kato sets that you can use to extend uh, your Kato layout. And we'll get on to why that's a great thing later on. But overall, very cool looking box, uh, I think anyway. And I quite like the Japanese even though I don't have a clue what it's actually talking about. Okay, so let's now take the time to uh, get the set out of the box. Uh, so I'm very excited for this myself. Uh, this is my first time with anything N scale, really. Um, but again, I think it's a very great way to start, uh, which is why I thought I'd make this video. And I'll explain why I'm getting this later on. Um, but the whole the point of this video is we're going to take a look at the box, we're going to unbox it, do a brief review, and then I'll try and explain uh, why I think, uh, if you want to get started in N scale, why this is a great option. So yeah, let's just get it out of the box. Very cool. So again, I really like the uh, box design, uh, as I was saying before, I think it is very, very cool. Uh, very unique, I think, compared to like most starter set boxes. Uh, so we've obviously got the handle, um, which was obviously in the top of the box. I think it's quite cool that they actually have a handle so that you can actually like carry the set around if you were to actually buy it um, from like a, from a store. So here we go. So here is the box. You can see that the Kato starter sets do come with quite a lot of stuff. Obviously, we've got some curves here and some straights to make the basic loop of track. We have a very cool looking controller, and I'll get onto why I like this later on. Uh, and we've also got the uh, re-railer uh, for the loco, sorry, the, the, the unit. And you can obviously see we've got the three coach unit here. Uh, there's a space for an extra one. Uh, that's just because I believe this is a standardized box that they use for all of their models. Uh, and obviously some of them will be four unit uh, engines. In this case, it is just a three unit. So now we just take this uh, big plastic sheet off, very well packaged. I'm, I'm quite enjoying this so far. I don't know about you guys. Um, but yeah, so we've got the the unit here and honestly, N-Gage is bigger than I was expecting it. I don't know why, but I was expecting N-Gage to be very small, like a lot smaller than it actually is. Um, but yeah, so we've got the units here. Uh, we've got some detail parts here that uh, I'm never going to be able to fit on uh, because I just I just don't have the eyesight for it. And then we've got some more detail parts here. So there's hoses that you can add to the multiple unit there. Uh, we've got a whole load of this uh, curved track. Uh, there should be eight pieces, I believe. Um, and this is Kato Unitrack, uh, which is really, really great product. And again, I'll expand on why I think Kato Unitrack is uh, great for beginners later on. So yeah, we've got our Kato Uni track. Uh, we've got, I think, eight, eight straights, sorry, eight curves. And then we've got a selection of straights up the top here. Uh, we have four of them. Over here, we have some short straights. And then here we have the re-railer, uh, which I guess sort of doubles as a level crossing, or at least it sort of looks like one. We have another bit of straight here. And then here we have the cabling for the controller. Um, so that's very cool, uh, obviously pretty much essential. And then here we have, I believe, what are the ramps to go either side uh, of the level crossing here. And then here we have the controller, which I think looks really, really cool. And again, I'll expand on this a little bit later on, uh, but it's got like an actual throttle and reversing and all that, which I think is really, really neat. Uh, here we have the transformer uh, for the, the controller, obviously, uh, which is a British plug. Uh, so even though it is a Japanese set, this is obviously readily available to just plug in and play, essentially. Uh, and then here is a power pack here. Over here we have, I think this is another railer. Um, so you just put the coach there and it'll slide down onto the track, which is quite cool. And then here we have the unit. So we'll take a closer look at them now. So also in the box, we have got uh, some instructions, uh, completely in Japanese, um, which I know a little bit of, but not enough to actually uh, transcribe any of that. 
Uh, we have some decals, which I believe are to change the destinations on the engines, which I think is really, really cool, actually. So you can change uh, where the uh, unit is going to, um, which is really, really cool, actually. Um, but probably too uh, close up for me to do without messing it up horribly. <laughs> Uh, we've also got uh, the instructions on how to put the track together. So it is pictorial, so obviously it is still useful. Uh, but I will show you guys how to put everything together later. We've got a starter guide. This one is in English. There we go. So it comes with a, a Japanese and an English one. Uh, so here is the uh, English one here. And then finally, we get quite a cool looking, I believe this is a Kato sort of magazine which shows sort of the additional packs and some ideas for layouts you can make essentially um, but yeah looking very very cool okay so here we have the unit so we're going to try and take a bit of a look at this now um, obviously it's n scale so I'm going to struggle pointing out I think a fair bit of this detail um, but it is quite uh, it's a fairly basic train I would say um, it's very simplistic um, as I think a lot of Japanese units are uh, in reality. Very basic livery, uh, it's a mix of sort of a red and a beige, or an orange, depending on your eyesight. And then this middle coach uh, is a, it's got a green strap. I don't know if that denotes first class or something. It's something I need to look more into. Um, but on the front, uh, you can see we have got some holes for lights, whether or not these work, I'm not sure. And um, we do actually have uh, windscreen wipers as well. Uh, you can just about make them out there. On the front, we do have uh, some uh, hiragana, uh, which is Jap Japanese alphabet. Uh, so it has got like a destination board. Uh, you can see we've got a decent amount of molding here um, for like hold putting on lanterns, some grab irons, and the doorway at the front there, which is quite cool. Uh, here we've got a that with a step ladder, and then obviously we've got a door in the side here. We've got a couple windows, uh, different heights. Again, it's just part of the design. Along the bottom, we have got a decent amount of detail, I would say. Uh, we've got quite a bit going on and it's all pretty well molded as well uh, you can see there's a lot of detail on the individual sort of cabinets and motors and whatever else is on going on down here which is quite cool on the roof you can see we've got some pretty well detailed uh, sort of ventilation or air conditioning uh, you can see the individual grills on top which is really quite impressive actually there's more detail on this little end scale thing than there is on some Hornby models let's be honest uh, and then we've got some more detailing uh, here as well it's green coach here uh, which is slightly different again i don't know if this is maybe first class it's got a bit of a green symbol here and a green stripe um but yeah and another thing uh we do have interiors as well uh i'll zoom in a little bit more you can see that the chairs are actually painted in brown so that's pretty cool um i think this might actually be a viewing car i've just noticed that this coach is actually quite significantly different um given that if you see here we've got very thick dividers between the windows whereas here we've got much bigger windows of a thinner silver divider and the air conditioning units on the top are also different so there's a little bit of a detail bit of, bit of detail variation there uh, and then this coach on the rear is identical to the one at the front uh, given that it is a multiple unit um, actually that's completely not true there is a slight there's a little bit of detail variation here as this one is actually the motor motor vehicle uh, so this one does actually contain uh, the engine. Okay, so now we've essentially got the basic review out of the way. Now what I want to jump into is why I think this set in particular uh, is a really great way to start in model railways. There's quite a few factors, uh, including price, uh, the controller, the track, uh, and a few other things that we're going to talk about now. And just a reminder, uh, we're halfway through now. Uh, if you're enjoying the video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, uh, drop a comment down below. Uh, and also a reminder for subscribers, uh, you do get 5% off uh, at the shop I work for, which is Railway Model Store. Uh, so if you do want to make any orders, uh, feel free to use the link in the description and you can get some great discounts. Um, so yeah, let's carry on with the video. Okay, so the first reason I think this set is probably the best way to get started in Engage is the track. Kato Unitrack is a really great thing and it's super easy to use. Uh, it's very simple, you just line it up and uh, clip it together just like so. And then that, that is attached now. And, and one of the great things uh, about Unitrack is you can easily uh, expand your layout uh, by using the various uh, track sets and addition packs that are available. Uh, we do have a decent range of these available. 
So I'll show you through some of them now. And as you can see, there's a decent amount of track uh, that you can use to easily customize uh, your, your layout. And one of the things that this reminds me of is so wooden railways. So if you guys remember, wooden railways sort of just fit together like puzzles, basically. And you had all this track and you could build it into whatever you want. And that's what I think is a good thing about Kato Unitrack. If you get a decent amount of it, every time you get it out, you could build a completely different layout. Uh, and I think that's a really cool thing. And even if you want to make a permanent one, uh, what's great about this is it already comes with a ballast base. So you simply just need to put it down and you could just do the scenery around it. And I think that is just a great thing for beginners rather than fiddling about with, um, you know, flexi track and that sort of thing. Okay, so still on the topic of track, I just wanted to show you guys something quick while I'm building the layout here. Um, with the power, the way you do it is you get this specific uh, bit of track which has this block on the middle. Uh, and then you just slide uh, the cable inside that. And that all connects up nice and tight. Uh, and then you just guide the wires uh, out one of the sides here and then attach it to the rest of the track. Okay, so I've just got the uh, loop out now. Uh, it was all very, very easy to fit together. And you can see you get a decent length of track actually uh, with the starter set, which is really cool. But sort of just to, to go over again, uh, why I think this track is great for beginners, uh, is essentially, it's just very, very easy to clip together, uh, especially if you're maybe in the older generations and you just want a very simple put together track, which isn't too fiddly, or even younger, for the younger generations, um, I think this would be a great, great starter set for kids. Um, it's very, very, it's just super easy to put together. Uh, it looks great, it's pre-ballasted essentially, so you can just get straight to running trains. And all you need to do is plug in that cable and you're good to go. And it also comes with a great controller, which is what we're gonna move on to now. Okay, so the second point as to why I think this is uh, one of the best available sets to get started uh, in Engage is the controller. And I am, it might be my inner child, but I am absolutely geeking out over this controller right now. It is so, so cool. Um, so basically you've got sort of your reverser here, essentially. Uh, so you can switch it to forward, uh, you can keep it in off, or you can put it in reverse. And then here you have an actual throttle. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, again, this might be my inner child, but honestly, I sit here, I feel like I'm basically driving an actual train, you know? Um, but again, that's probably just me being being stupid. But let, let's get it going. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn, turn the uh, speed up a bit. You can hear it throttling up and away we go. And how cool is that? Okay, so we've got the controller set to sort of a, sort of a medium pace. And something else you might as well talk about uh, is the fact that this does actually have lights, uh, which is super, super cool. Uh, so you can see that it's got lights on the front and a light up headboard. Uh, and I don't know, I think that's wicked. And we've also got the lights on the rear as well. Okay, so what we'll do now uh, is we'll switch it into reverse. I, I still think this is so cool. I love this controller. So we're coming in now, so let's slow down the train a bit and pull in, come to a stop. I will say there, there is there is quite a, quite a big gap there, um, but I don't think that's too much of an issue. So I'll switch it into off and then switch it in reverse and we can go the other direction. It's just so cool. And I, I, I don't know. So overall, just to wrap up the controller, I think it's probably just the most fun controller you can probably get uh, for a cheap starter set. Uh, and it's just really, really cool. It's very simple, very basic, easy to understand. It's forward or reverse, and you just use the throttle. And I just think that's probably one of the most authentic and cool ways uh, of controlling uh, your starter set. And the third reason I have uh, for why I think this is probably the best way to start in Engage is the price. Kato starter sets are actually quite affordable. Uh, don't get me wrong, they are more expensive uh, than their OO gauge equivalents. Uh, however, uh, I honestly I think you're getting a better quality controller, better quality track, and better quality engines uh, and units than you would get uh, in a HO gauge one. 
There are other engage star sets available um, by Fleischmann and uh, Graham Farish, but they are a hell of a lot more expensive than these. You can see here, uh, the price ranges from about 170 to about 230 pounds, uh, depending of course on what the model uh, is of. For example, um, Shinkhans and bullet trains tend to be more expensive because they come with more coaches and other types of units also come with more coaches. That's sort of the main difference in price, but you can pick these up uh, very cheap. Uh, with a very affordable price of £170 and this particular set we were looking at today was £180. And with the 5% discount you can get uh, from Rowing Model Store you can actually get them for even less and honestly I highly recommend them. Um, after making this video I'm genuinely considering moving to Engage myself because this is just so much cooler um, than what I've been doing uh, in OO Gage. But that's just my personal preference. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that is what I think is probably the best way to get started in Engage. Obviously, there are other opinions um, and other ways of doing it. You can buy second hand. Uh, you can also buy the more expensive British Outline Graham Farish sets um, and Fleischmann do um, European. But you can also get American and European Kato starter sets. Um, we're looking to get those in stock as soon as we can. We're mainly stocking Japanese at the moment. But if you do want to pick one of these up, link will be in the in the description below for this exact model. Uh, and we do have others available, including Shinkansen bullet trains and some very futuristic looking units. Um, but yeah, so overall, I think this is the best way to start. The track's amazing. The controller is one of the coolest controllers I've ever mucked around with. Uh, and the unit itself is really, really cool. So I highly, highly recommend this. And if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Uh, feel free to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.